Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We've done a bunch of Michael Jordan videos this year using a variety of different types of builds. But today, we have our legend Michael Jordan build. And anyone that was in my Twitch stream last night, you guys saw what this build was doing. Not only in the park, but on the Pro-Am. I've been streaming on Twitch again for the first time in like three, four months. As you guys know, I had some personal stuff going on in my life I had to deal with, but things have settled down a little bit now. So I'm getting back into the stream. So the rest of 2K21 over on Twitch, and then I'm going to be streaming daily 2K22 release week and all that type of stuff, obviously um, showing the builder and all the new gameplay and stuff for 2K22. So consistent streams from now all the way into 2K22. I'm going to leave the link to my Twitch in the description if you guys want to come through and chill in the streams. Anyone that was in there last night, you guys know. No, it was a, it was a great time got to play some park and some pro-am for you guys on this build now it's six foot six ignore the name i know it says lebron james i made this build like way earlier in the year and i didn't realize you can't change the name of your player once you create it so it says lebron james but this is my michael jordan build and uh yeah i mean look at the attributes bro i mean contact dunks good close shot layup all that and then 83 pointer so solid shooting from range now listen you guys are gonna say but the post fade jordan was great you know shooting those post fades those turnarounds yes i 100 100% agree but as you can see I made this build early in the year and you guys know I love playing pro-am so I had in mind I'm gonna be playing pro-am I had to choose free throw or post fade and for pro-am you have to have free throw especially as the main ball handler if I didn't have free throw I'd be a huge liability teams would just intentionally foul me and you guys get the idea but look at we got the signature Michael Jordan layup package look at what we're doing in the pro-am man I mean even on the defensive end look at I'm guarding the corner but I read the lane some some Michael Jordan type stuff man you know defense offense we do it all look we lurk the lane run up quick stop at the three-point line pull up it's listen the pro-am games are lit they're competitive anyone that was in the stream last night will tell you they are fun to watch so make sure y'all come through and even when we don't have problem games i'm gonna be streaming park and stage twos threes all that type of stuff man so make sure y'all click that link in the description and drop me a follow over on twitch but uh yeah pro dribble moves good pass accuracy uh you know obviously jordan would have post moves but we have to sacrifice something and then we got perimeter lateral steal and then defensive rebounding and honestly six six long arms this build plays really really solid defense especially at legend you know what i mean you get those plus 10 badges that's obviously a huge boost but look at 28 26 24 15 ridiculous badge spread i mean you see what the build's capable of man i mean the build goes crazy ankle breakers i mean shoot the three really really well anyone that was in the stream like i said you guys saw what this build was doing uh you know this build only gets hall of fame finishing but even with the gold shooting badges it shoots really well you're gonna see that in these gameplays and as a legend i mean you can literally get every badge you want like being a legend is so much fun because you have every single badge that you want in the game but listen drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and let's jump into some gameplay so i've been doing a lot of threes gameplay so i figured let's take this build to the twos and show you what it's capable of now we're running my mj build with a lockdown and you see what we're facing the first game we got a play shot and an inside center and we're down 10-0 right off the rip but as i said six six long arms we play decent defense and the rebounding is actually solid look we're the one that comes down with the rebound and now we play straight iso i'm not gonna lie this build really makes playing twos fun for me again like i got so sick as you guys know i prefer to just iso and have a spot up play with me preferably a lockdown so that we have good defense but on this game it was almost like you had to pick what you wanted either you're on a build that can shoot but can't finish or you're on a build that can finish but can't shoot this build for me checks all the boxes like y'all remember 2k20 obviously y'all remember 2k20 that was a, such a fun year for me in terms of the way i like to play i'd like to have a build that can do a little bit of everything where you have to respect the shot like if you give me the shot i'm taking it but otherwise if you play me tight i can cook you and get to the basket that's what this build feels like and that's why i said it brings the fun and enjoyment back to the game for me as you can see we, we pull off the easy comeback now this game we're facing a mascot i'm gonna be quite honest with you i'm gonna run through this gameplay real quick because i don't like this gameplay it was kind of boring the way they were playing me look at he's guarding me so tight and they help so much that most of the game i'm literally just kicking to my open teammate but i figured all the time i see in the comments you're not playing nobody why don't you show who you're playing against we're playing against a mascot elite three like i don't I don't, he has a lockdown guarding me on his team so they clearly know what they're doing look he's playing lanes they know what they're doing y'all enjoy the gameplay now the reason i say it brings the fun back into the game for me because earlier in the year i played a lot of twos but i was on my shot creator so it's like i just have an inside center with me and the, every game is exactly the same every game is exactly the same 
He sets me screens. If I can't get open on the screen, I give him the ball. Then I dex, I get open, I shoot the three. Or if I get open on the screen, I shoot the three. Like that's basically what I would do all game. So it's just repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. But playing on this build, it reminds me, well, my 2K20 build was obviously different, but it reminds me, it's as close to that type of feeling as I've gotten on this game. Because this build here, I'm basically in control of how I score the ball. Obviously, it matters how the defense is playing me, but I'm just saying, like, I can score at all three levels. I can shoot the three, I can shoot the mid range, both consistently, and then I can contact dunk, you know, the layup, the standing dunk. Everything's just really, really consistent. Like, a spin back on a pull up. That's a lockdown guard of me, like I said, with a mascot. And we, we win that game pretty easy, 23 to seven. So we're going crazy. I mean, overall, this is just the most fun I've had on the game in a while. You guys saw in the stream, we were just literally chilling, just going crazy, all ISO on the twos, little spin between two defenders, like just straight Michael Jordan type activities out here, you know? Anytime they help, it's really a choice. If I wanna pass it, I can, or I just go up and dunk on them. Like these pro -M teams too that we play against, they don't even know what to do. Like they don't, most pro -M teams run two play shots. I run this build at point guard. So it's like, they just can't get over the fact that it's like they're like he never gets a layup he dunks everything well i mean part of it is the build but part of it's also like dunk packages and just understanding what to go up with what not to see i see the help boom quick thought wide open three but to run with this build i'm gonna be honest you could run with the inside center on the twos but i feel like it's much more effective if you have a knock down shooter with you like you could run with a stretch big maybe but i would prefer like i have right here hoodie is just a he's a lockdown but he's just automatic so i just have him spot up the whole game you know you got to have a teammate that's willing to spot up for you but look it first of all we're going crazy you see like they literally can't check me i'm shooting threes everything but can we just talk about for 2k22 can we not do this can we not have this terrible lighting like you're watching my video right now i appreciate you but how awful it, like i'm looking at this while i'm commentating it and it looks terrible i can barely see what's going on in the gameplay like this looks awful that's why i'm showing how, like i'm doing these clips super super fast right look i missed the layup i'm gonna run out and thankfully i'm gonna green this shot and as soon as the ball goes in they turn the lights back on like why why whose idea whose idea was it to have us play in the dark it, it doesn't make any sense but you see the acrobatic finishes around the rim i mean even with slash and takeover if you don't get a contact dunk we still get the acrobatic layup you know some little you know mj type activities but we have one more gameplay here for you and i'm going to address this right now because i already know some people are going to say you should have shot more fadeaway mid ranges you know even not post fades because you know obviously i explained why i don't have post fade on this build i needed the free throw for pro-am but even just you know mid ranges you know you run into the left shoot a little fadeaway mid range that's some jordan type you know that's a jordan type of play but honestly they're just not as consistent in this game as the, as they were in past 2Ks. I mean, you see even like Ticino and guys that were known for shooting off dribble shots, they kind of just went away from it because it's not the most consistent thing in this game. So yeah, I could do it for a clip here or there, but in terms of like doing it consistently in gameplay with this build, as much as, you know, oh, that's a Jordan move and this is a Jordan build, it's just not as reliable as past 2Ks. I mean, you see, like I said, even a lot of play shots and stuff, they just went, they used to do it in past 2Ks, but they just went away from it because it's just not super consistent. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm my shot creator with a 93 pointer, I shoot fade away and step back threes. But honestly, it's not like something I go to all all the time because it's just not that reliable in this game you can green it for sure i'm not saying it's impossible but you also have to realize on this build i'm not a play shot i don't have a 90 plus three point i have an 83 pointer and 82 mid-range so yes i can green consistent when i'm standing still but then you start to add the fadeaways into it it's gonna be it's gonna be looking a little rough so that's the main reason i don't really go to it on this build listen don't hate me it's the game i i, I gotta play the game that's in front of me so yes it's a michael jordan build but we gotta still apply the game mechanics that they gave us so that's the main reason i'm not out here shooting you know tons of fadeaway jump shots and stuff like that despite the fact that you know yeah that was jordan's kind of go-to thing but overall as i said legend michael jordan build i figured we got to do one more video and you see what we're doing i mean the build is it's lethal and one thing i really realized when i was grinding to legend was just how repetitive the game is but anytime i got on this build and i isoed for a little bit on the twos or the threes or playing pro am on this build it just felt like i could do anything i wanted to do if i wanted to shoot i could do it. if i wanted to drive and contact dunk on people like that i could do it if i wanted to you know i could dribble the ball i can play defense i can rebound i, I could do a little bit of every i'm a very well-rounded build and the fact y'all know i just love the iso on the two so that's that's something that made it more enjoyable for me man but listen legend michael jordan build hopefully y'all enjoy drop a like subscribe if you guys are new i'll catch you on the next video i'm out peace